Chris Allingham with the Virtual Barber Bullet. Today I'm doing a taste test of three different Guy Fieri barbecue sauces. Now let's discuss the elephant in the room right away. Guy Fieri, or Guy Fieri, depending on how you want to pronounce it. A lot of people love him, a lot of people hate him. I'm somewhere in between. I admire him in the sense that he is a self-made man. He's worked very hard for all that he's accomplished. He comes from humble roots. He's worked really hard to amass a lot of television shows and a lot of restaurants and a lot of actual food products that you can buy at the grocery store. These are just a few of them. I went online and made a list of some of the things I could find. In addition to these three barbecue sauces that I'll tell you a little bit more about in a second, he has a Carolina barbecue sauce, an apple barbecue sauce, a buffalo wing sauce, a sriracha barbecue sauce. He has five sauces. He has eight varieties of Keurig coffee, those little K-cups, eight different varieties of coffee. He has frozen egg rolls, frozen ravioli, frozen tamales, frozen carne asada, hamburger patties. He even has a mozzarella buffalo chicken dip. And, um, and then on Gold Belly, which is that really high-end mail order site where you can get food from some of the greatest places in the world, he's now selling his trash can nachos, which is a big feature at some of his restaurants. So obviously, He's a great merchandiser of himself and of the Flavortown brand that he's created and really leveraging all that he's accomplished with his television shows on the Food Network. Personally, I like Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I find it's a very interesting TV show because it, it introduces me to new restaurants that I might want to try somewhere down the road. I can't even begin to tell you how many times my wife and I have been traveling we're trying to figure out where to go for lunch or dinner. My wife will say, well, are there any Triple D joints in this town? And we look it up online. If we find one, we try to go to one and we've never been disappointed. So that's a great show for learning about new restaurants. And then he has other cooking shows as well that you may be familiar with. So what do I have here? I have three barbecue sauces. Uh, this one is the first one I picked up because I was interested in it. This is the sweet and tangy root beer barbecue sauce. Um, I have heard of barbecue sauces, uh, root beer barbecue sauces. I've never made one myself, never tried one. So when I saw this at the store, I picked it up and wanted to give it a try. And having done that, I thought, well, maybe I should buy some others and then I could turn this into a taste test that might be more interesting for you. So going back to this side, this is a smoky and sweet Kansas City style barbecue sauce. This is probably the one of all the things I mentioned, these three, and there, I mentioned an apple sauce, a sriracha sauce, uh, Carolina sauce. A K KC sauce is probably the one that I would buy if left to my own devices, only purchasing one sauce. It, it typically is the kind of sauce and flavor profile that I really prefer. So that's what this one is here, this number one sauce. Number two, this is called a sweet and sticky brown sugar and bourbon barbecue sauce. And then this one again is the sweet and tangy root beer sauce. I have poured out samples here in these little bowls. And I have also poured some out on a plate here. I wanna show you some pictures of this. You can see in the same order as on my table here, first is the KC sauce, second is the brown sugar sauce, and third is the root beer sauce. And you can see that the KC sauce is a darker color than any of them. That's kind of what I'd expect. It looks a little bit like KC Masterpiece in terms of its color. And then you have more of an orange color for the other two. Now here's a, a photo where I've allowed these to run down the plate so you can get a sense of what the texture is inside these sauces. They're generally smooth, but they do have what looks like some flakes of pepper in them or some other seasoning. And you can see that both the KC and the brown sugar sauce have that. However, the root beer sauce, the third one, is very smooth. It doesn't really seem to have much of any particulate. I will quickly put up some photos of the um, ingredient list for each of these so you can take a look at that. First is the Kansas City sauce. Next is the brown sugar sauce. And lastly, the root beer sauce. Now what I have here is a bowl of pulled pork that I made recently. It was just simply seasoned uh, with a, a not too strong of a rub. 
And I'm gonna taste these sauces on meat because that's the way that we eat barbecue sauce. We eat it on meat. So I'm gonna take this little piece here and I'm first gonna try this Kansas City sauce. Get a goodly amount on here. That does have a flavor profile very much, very much like KC Masterpiece or any other Kansas City sauce you'd expect. It is not hot. It is sweet. It's not um, sickly sweet. That's just a good, a good basic straight ahead Kansas City style barbecue sauce. I would eat that all day long and use that on most any kind of barbecue that I would make here at home. Now let's try it number two. This is the this is the brown sugar. This is the brown sugar barbecue sauce. It does have a different taste to it. It is sweet. I don't really, I wouldn't really describe it as brown sugar necessarily. I get a little bit of the bourbon, a little bit of the bourbon flavor for sure. The, the flavor is not quite as deep, I guess, as the Kansas City barbecue sauce. That's a nice sauce. I think this is still my favorite so far, but this is not offensive whatsoever. Now let's try the root beer sauce. Mm. Yeah, the thing I pick up right away is sort of very slight kind of licorice-y root beer-like flavor. Really stands out differently from these other two. It is sweet, just like the others. Tangy, um, a little bit. It's certainly not hot. None of these are hot by any stretch of the imagination. Um, just a little bit of tang, I guess. But I really do get the root beer flavor from this. It's not super strong like you're drinking out of a glass, but you do have a little bit of that uh, root beer licorice type sensation from it. So to summarize of these three sauces, I still think that my favorite is probably the Kansas City style. That tends to be my favorite style of sauce anyway. So I think if, if you only wanted to try one of these, I would give the KC sauce a try, see what you think. Brown sugar sauce is fine. I'm gonna keep this and use this, no problem. The root beer sauce is interesting. Um, I do get the root beer flavor, but I don't think it's you know, so special that it overcomes my, my tendency toward a KC sauce. So I give a thumbs up to all three of these. I say the KC sauce is my favorite. You will find these sauces in supermarkets, better supermarkets, and in some places that sell barbecue sauce, like. If you go to some hardware stores or some barbecue specialty stores that have sauce selections, you may find these Guy Fieri sauces there. I would not hesitate that you pick up one of these and give it a try. Not a bad product. Well, that wraps up this taste test of Guy Fieri barbecue sauces. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you would like and subscribe to them, it helps other people find them. Until next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.